guidance for family about comfort care in dementia. My name is Laura Bavelaar, and I'll present on behalf of the My Support study team. Care and support. But within this presentation, we would like to make the statement, let's support those who care. When the dementia progresses, often a person with dementia will rely more and more on family and friends to provide support in daily activities. This can be a, a daunting task for family caregivers, especially during the more advanced stages of dementia. Family caregivers may face difficult decisions regarding the care for their relative with dementia. A person with dementia may, for instance, develop difficulties eating and drinking, or even pneumonia. And often in these situations, a person with dementia may not be able to contribute to conversations about care. And a physician will ask the family caregiver to make a shared decision with him or her about what would be an appropriate treatment in these cases. This can be very challenging and a test that family caregivers may feel ill prepared for. That is why the My Support study aims to support family caregivers in navigating these difficult decisions. And we'd like to do that by providing information. One way of providing information is by handing out a comfort care booklet. This booklet is an educational booklet, especially designed for family caregivers. It describes the natural evolution of dementia, so any symptoms that may occur during the trajectory, relief of symptoms, so different types of treatments that are available that can help ensure comfort for the person with dementia, decisions about the end of life, so any situations that may occur when end of life is approaching that could require some shared decisions between the physician and family caregiver about end of life care, what the final moments of life may look like with dementia and what a family caregiver may experience after death. The aim of this booklet is provide reassurance to the family caregiver and make sure that the person with dementia will be comfortable throughout the trajectory. The booklet can also help prepare the family caregiver for any stages of the disease that are yet to come. This booklet was originally developed in Canada in 2005 and was then available in the languages English and French. Over the course of 15 years, the booklet has been internationally adapted and is now available in seven countries and in six different languages. But in most of these countries, the booklet has been evaluated by family caregivers, nurses, and physicians. Findings from these evaluations show that the booklet is well appreciated. However, adaptation to the local context is necessary. We need to inform family caregivers while being sensitive to the local context that may influence their information and support needs. Family caregivers across countries differ in their views on, but also their access to comfort care options. For instance, in Canada, family caregivers stated, we would have liked to talk about options around medical assistance in dying. And that is why in a new updated Canadian booklet, an extra topic was added that would explain about medical assistance in dying. On the contrary, in the UK, family caregivers stated, we tend not to talk about death or talk about palliative care. And that is why for the UK booklet, the tone has been softened of the booklet to make the style less confrontational. I would like to end with, with this statement, let's support those who care, family caregivers. For instance, by providing them an educational booklet that is adapted to their context and specific to their needs. You can find more about this on the website www.mysupportstudy.eu. Thank you.